Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What is up? What is up? It is your boy Wild Car in the building. That is the big homie Detroit Mel. And yes, we are the IOW Sports Crew, and we are here live with another episode. <coughs> what up, though? Episode nineteen. How you doing, big bro? What's up, man? Good, bro. Good. Trying to get this set cracking, man. Yeah, let's get this shit cracking. As always, y'all know the deal. As y'all already know the deal, please, 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 at the bottom of the screen, you see it. You see all the social media handles that you can follow us, the IOW Sports Crew, each and every day. Make sure you go over. Make sure you go over to IOW Sports Network on Facebook, Instagram, and most importantly, (laughs) YouTube. We can catch all of our uh, content. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, smash that bell notification, smash that subscribe <coughs> buttons so you right. can get uh, direct access to all of our content. And man, most importantly, most importantly, IOW Sports 1 on Twitter. Uh, but hey, please, if you're feeling in the charitable mood, hit that dollar sign, IOW Sports Network on the cash app. You can send 30 bucks app. and get the... Yeah, you, you can hit 30 bucks and get the uh, exclusive IOW Sports snapback. Or if you're just feeling real charitable, help us, you know, get better help equipment, me help better you. cameras, better mic, better software, so that we can continue right. to produce better shows for you guys. Hey, and it's always, hey, donations are tax write offs, just in case you didn't know. But, man, anyway. Hope everybody's doing well on this very, very eventful Thursday day. All right. What up, Scott? What up, um, Matt? <clears throat> yeah, Scott, Matt, what's going on? But we're going to start with something. Um, well, I don't know if it's uh best way to describe it, man, because we already do this before. Literally, uh, yesterday, uh, for those that didn't see it, um, you know, uh, your boy, Tom Brady. Early in the morning. I'm talking about early. early in the morning. This man was early and literally sat down, got on his social media, and said, hey, I'm retired. And for those of you that didn't catch it, uh, you know, this is this is what your man said. He said, I am retired. And, yeah, this is it. So let's take a look at what Tom said. Retiring for good. Frost uh, was a pretty big. Good. Let you guys know first. So, big long one. One. Hey, and a year. So, I really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me, my family, my friends teammates my competitors uh, thank you guys for allowing me to live my absolute dream i wouldn't change a thing love you all well come on man so come on man wait no man oh you wait no man wait no man I know I'm waiting for it to come out. <laughs> Why waiting on Mac? Um, hey man, look here, man. He ain't got no, he ain't got no excuses now. He ain't got no family to go home to. So he might as well retire. He ain't running from them no more. <laughs> so, he might as well retire. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> but y'all ain't shit, dog. <laughs> I Scott, my man Scott said happy Friday Z, okay. happy Friday Z to you, Scott. <laughs> my man Matt is in the building. He says days you're down. IOW's here to lift you up. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. What's up, Melly Mel? What's up, Mar? What's up with you, Matt? And my man had something to say. He said, Brady retired? No, it was just in every channel, including Pornhub, from what <laughs> 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 hey man, why ain't why ain't I gotta blame me for the internet? You know, I ain't the one that posted the video, bro. What's up? 
<laughs> What's up, Ed? I have to start early. See, because Nick ain't here, so now you gotta get it. Fuck you, Ant. <laughs> but somebody got got to get his anger. <laughs> you got your record toward Nick. Now you taking his place. Thanks, thanks. I was waiting on the mat. Thank you. There you go, right there. Oh, oh, that's what you was waiting on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. But um, I mean, let's talk about it, man. Uh, obviously, we went through the whole ordeal last year um, with Tom Brady. Um, so let me ask you, big homie, are you taking this one? Um, are you taking this one uh, legitimately? They're like, yo, this dude's retired, retired. Like, this might be it for real, for real. Or, or you think let the man get the get the chance to think on it, a team approach him, and he'll probably be back in the saddle. So, which way you leaning towards, man? Uh, Nick dealing with something right now. Uh, and said, what family? Um, I think I think he's legit this time, man. I mean, month we we can talk about you know fuck time brain all that stuff. You got you got to give a nod. He, he accomplished a lot of stuff in his career. Accomplished a lot, you know. And you look at the progression from the last Super Bowl he won. The following year he got to the playoffs. A year after that, mm-hmm. he he just fell off. You know, fell off the face of her off the face of the earth, so to speak. So he probably just realized I ain't got it no more. You know, and he he put mm-hmm. and he, this year he put everything he had into it and lost a lot. And got them back for it. And he probably just made that assessment. Say, you know what? I'm through. I lost my family. Mm-hmm. You know, I lost everything. I ain't getting nothing accomplished for it. I ain't getting a Super Bowl. I ain't get to the uh, NFC Championship. Nothing. Let's go ahead and retire. He got to the playoffs. But yeah, he got to the yeah, playoffs. I don't count. He lost to Dallas. <laughs> 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 oh, you losing to Dallas? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You losing to Dallas? Yeah. <laughs> so you had a bad season. <laughs> <laughs> For real. No. Dallas hey, um, lose to Dallas. Oh, shit, damn. <laughs> damn, the Cowboys <laughs> lose to the Cowboys. So, so therefore, when you lose to the Cowboys, you might as well retire. Hey. All of the done deal. Show yourself. <laughs> I'm like, bro. You know, hey, but I'm, let, let's just be real, though, man. Right. <clears throat> let's be real. Brady had a he had a decent career, man. He had a good career. None, no, nothing to sniff at. You know, we can talk about the flake gate. We can talk about Spy all gate. Kind of, Spy gate. We can talk about the tuck rule. You know, you can go down a lot of stuff you can criticize on. But all in all, he still got those rings. <clears throat> you know, so you gotta give him, you gotta give him his props. As long as he got rings, he could talk all the shit he wants. And 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 uh, I, <laughs> like, I can't help you know, too. <laughs> uh, you know, Matt was gonna bring it up for sure. Uh, but no, I'm look, I'm with you. Um, like accomplished balls, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Tom Brady jokes is gonna come in on the uh, plenty for real. They they gonna come. They gonna come. But no, <laughs> look, I'm like you. The guy has accomplished something. I think he's. I think. Look, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not ready to say that he's 100% retired. Now, going based off of that video and what he posted on himself, by himself, probably no, no, uh, no, uh, no media team around him, no, no, uh, you know, uh, 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 cleanup person uh, or uh, personal relations, public relations, trying to tell him what to do. I think he went ahead and just said, yo, yo. This is my time. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to take it. And as you hear him talk, he, you know, he made the jokes as in referring to, you know, retiring last year. He made the jokes. He said, I used the emotional part of last year. I used this up. Uh, I've already done this before. Um, and so he, he he had a little humor about it. So he knew that, hey, I've done this before. Uh, you know, if I go back on this one, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm leaving myself up for a lot of criticism and, and to get made fun of by a lot of people. Um, so I, I, I think he realizes that. And then right, he, right. you look and you look towards the back of the, the the little minute clip that he put up, you can see the emotions in him, you know, referring mm-hmm. to his family, his teammates, and uh all the great competitors he played against. So you can see the emotional in his eyes and in his voice. You heard it a little bit as well. Yeah, so Botox leaking. <laughs> <laughs> You're leaking, boy. You're leaking. <laughs> um, but 
but no, uh, I you you look at you you look at just the way he delivered the video and both emotions that he showed in it. That's what gives me that fifty percent of me is saying, "All right, he's retired for sure." 50 yeah, only fifty percent, right? <laughs> Still. Cause I, yeah, because I'm I'm gonna drop the hammer. I'm gonna drop the hammer. Oh All no, right, we, we play we play devil's advocate and we keep it <laughs> greasy over here. So there, that's fifty percent of me and saying, "Yo, just looking okay. at that video, right. I'm I think he's retired for sure." The other fifty percent of of me says, "Well, I don't know if San Francisco had a chance to throw their pitch yet. I don't know if there's <clears> another <throat> team that had the chance to throw their pitch yet before he decided to put this thing out." You know what I'm saying? So I yeah, I agree with that. I, I I don't I don't until I see that he signed like Ant said signed the one contract retires New England Patriot or until he signs retirement papers. Well, damn this! Until opening day next September and <laughs> football kicks off and Tom Brady is not a starting quarterback in the NFL, then I'll believe it. Then that other fifty percent of me will join the other fifty percent and say he's completely retired. I need to see this guy literally not be a quarterback on an opening day roster come September around for me to hundred percent believe that he's retired. I'm obviously we don't have the sources or the right people to talk to uh, in his circle in his camp, but something right. tells me that I don't think San Francisco, possibly the Jets possibly another team that literally is just a quarterback away. I don't think they had the opportunity to go to him and make their pitch and be like, Hey, Hey man, I know you're more in retirement, but if you were so happy to put on a San Francisco 49ers uniform, I mean, if you saw, we, I mean, we lost our best option at quarterback in Brock Purdy. He's going to be out for six months. You know, we're not going to keep Jimmy G back. You know, we like the Trey Lance guy, but you know, Hey man, he can learn a lot from you in one year. So man, and all you got, and yeah, <clears throat> and all you all you got to do is just step in and be Tom Brady, you know, be be TB twelve, you know. Uh, and so that's the other part of me that is like, I don't know if he's hundred percent done. I I need to see I opening know, day man. rosters hundred percent, and he's not on one for me to believe it, it, this, this what I that say. he's done. <clears throat> You we we play sports, mm-hmm. and remember the time you got to that age, whatever it was, you feel like I can't do this shit no more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Whatever, because you know some of us, so we get 35, some of us we get to 40, whatever, whatever that is for you as an individual. You know, it's like I can't do this no more. No, I'm just talking about pickup yeah. ball. Um, done. My body can't do it. You just know your body can't. I can't run up down the court or down the field or whatever. I can't take no hits no more. Whatever the sport you know you were playing. And I think well, last I think that's year that's the case in this situation. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I think last year I got you. He was mauling that over in his head, mm-hmm. like you know I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. And he said, you know what? I'm gonna try. It. Went out and then he saw his performance and like, mm-hmm. now nah, I know I can't do it. And I think that mm-hmm. I think that's what really happened. He said, I know I can't do this. And yeah, he, I think that's why I think he's done. I think he's done, man. That's and then for him, to, and then for him to come out the way he came out and said it, like last time, remember, it was leaked out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't really he ain't really he wasn't really saying it, it was kind of leaked out. And then later on down the line, he kind of said, you know, he showed up and he started talking. I'm gonna play, but it was kind of mm-hmm. leaked out. This time, you know, he made his own well, his IG, he made right? his own video. He he, yeah. he 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 ain't wait for no 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 right. publicist no nothing no no camera crew no right. no full forge uh, <laughs> <laughs> no full fledged uh uh you know uh uh media outlet to 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 report on it. Right. It's literally this dude literally just came out on a Wednesday morning early because mm-hmm. I was up early. I was up yeah. at work at eight o'clock when this shit hit mm-hmm. when this shit dropped. Right. And so for him to and and that's what I and that's what. And that's what really think, is tearing me. I saw, I saw Matt. He sent it to me. Yeah, and and that's and that's what's really uh, conflicted me on on whether he's a hundred percent retired or not. Because you, when you just go out there and just drop the announcement with, without like pretty much uh, not giving a heads up or warning to anybody, you made this decision. You 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 pretty much are into a point where let me go ahead and drop it before anybody tries to talk me out of it. 
you know, type of uh, situation. And and look, I, I'm and, with you. Go ahead. Yeah, go now. Now go ahead. Go ahead. And he got that broadcast contract. Yes. So, you know what I'm saying? So, so he kind of so like, like he know, gonna be hurting for money. <laughs> so he probably like, you know what? I'm gonna sit in the studio, run my mouth for a minute. Get still be money. around the game. I ain't, got, I ain't still be around the game. Get this money. And I ain't got to worry about no defensive lineman up in my face. Cause I, yeah. I knew I ain't running nowhere. That's that's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. Um, I mean, it, look, I'm with you. The, the reason why he should retire is because we saw it. It was evident. When the pass rush got to him, he wasn't taking no hits. Mm. He was throwing it right to the ground. He was dirting them. He was mm -hmm. dirting them. And, um, you know, I, I, but still, I'm still thinking, I don't think San Francisco had a chance to try to try to convince him to stay and, and join them from a year or another team. Um, because it, it for me, for me, I'm still, I'm still of the mindset that Tom Brady literally put everything on the line last year to play, put his family on the line, put his marriage on the line. He already lost it, already lost his marriage. You know, I, he his relationship with his kids probably won't 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 never be estranged because he's a good father <clears> from from what is presented to us. So, um, yeah, she already booed up already. <laughs> but 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 what 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 I'm saying is is that for a guy that literally risked it all to play football, why walk away now when you have the ability to be part of a winning situation that really fits him like a glove? I mean, yeah. I, I say I, I said it a you thousand think, times. San Francisco teams. looks like 2020 Tampa Bay. They're set up just for him to just walk in and yeah, win. Tom really Bay look like 2050 Tom Brady. <laughs> 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 yeah, but sometimes all you need is 2020 Tom Brady when you got a, a team set up like a 2020 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 31 team, watch this man play, and 31 team should leave that man alone. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I mean, what, what? okay, let me ask you this. Now, on, on the real, what did you see out of Tom Brady that made you think he has enough to lead your team? <sighs> last I mean, year, based on last year, he still had the uh competitiveness, you know, even though things weren't. Well, oh, you away. had that up until you seven years old. Oh, that well, means get, that means get out and play. Oh, well, well, every now and then you saw flashes of TB12. You did, you did, yeah, you, yeah but you, all right, you didn't right. see enough. I'm with you, I'm with you, you didn't see okay. enough, but but let's be honest, I could definitely Jimmy G. I, I hear you, I hear you, but we got to look at his situation. His situation in in Tampa Bay, they were, they had shit ton of injuries, you mm -hmm. know. Really, really, really didn't have a lot of time to gel with 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 his wide right receiving core. They had some injuries through the wide receiver thing. Um, like like, I'm with you. He's 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 older. We know why, you know. But come on, Matt. Come on, come on, Matt. Come on. Nick is old. <laughs> he is old. Um, I mean. But for this guy to literally have put in everything on the line to play football last year and you lost it and you didn't perform well, I, I my thing is, is like, at this point, you have nothing holding you back. So you can play football as long as you, you know, so feel necessary. And, uh, and I get I'm I just get holding it. my motherfucker back. <laughs> hey, you long, I'm holding him back. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know, man. Look, I look the 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 post was was cute. It it showed his emotions. He did it without pretty much uh, no nobody trying to talk him out of it. Hey, that's the way it looks for sure. Um, he yeah. just like like he said, he just decided mm -hmm. to cut the camera on it and drop the news. So to me, that shows that he's in that frame that he's ready to be done. But something tells me, man, until September rolls around and there is. Not one team that has him signed. I don't, I'm not ready to hundred percent believe that he's done, man. I can't. I, I can't. Okay, look, I like this. I can't toss you a bunch of money. I can't toss you. A, I can't. Well, it's, 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 it's never been <clears throat> about the money for Tom. Okay, so it's not about the money. So okay, so the money's not the motivation. Okay, let's, let's take that off the clip, off the, off the table. Yeah. So next thing is, um, I know, Matt. Next thing is, um, what you got to prove? You have nothing to prove. You had nothing to prove, so 
Only thing, hey, only thing, only you, thing you, you say have. that, you say that, you say he has nothing left to prove. But what if he says, hey, I just want to make sure he's completely deflated. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> What's up, Mountain Man Maze? That's, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> but, 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 but what I'm saying is, is he always finds different types of ways to motivate. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that, I mean, most most great players do that. Jordan did it. You know what I'm saying? Bird did it. You can go down the line. Most great players. Yeah. Not good players, but great players. Great players. Yeah, we're talking about great because he, he is right. a great, great player. Not Find like different they, things to motivate them. Motivate them, yeah. You no, know, year after year. So that's cool. But at the same time, as you look at I mean, and I'm I'm only looking at it from my perspective now. If I'm looking yeah, at my list, my list of accomplishments, mm-hmm. I'm looking at what I lost. And I'm looking at what my body feels like. Is it really worth going another year? Now, if I see if I never won a Super Bowl, then maybe I can say, okay, the right situation. I feel like I still got it. You He's know, I seven. might go ahead. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't won seven. Yeah. You know, what I need to prove. I won a Super Bowl with two different teams. What I need to prove. Yeah. Hey, that, that's hey, me. I hear you. I hear you. All I'm saying is, you never be surprised with what motivates these guys. Right. To, that, that, to I, 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 that's back. another another point right there too. Well, I don't if know if that at, kills his legacy. I don't. I don't but know because think, look at think uh, about this. No, for, 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 go ahead. No, go hold ahead. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And 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 if it's saying it's killing his legacy, then you could have said that for this year. If you're saying it's killing his legacy, say and, one, and, and, say people aren't. What I'm saying is, is if, mm. if Andy's saying if he comes back, that will kill his legacy. People should have been mm. saying that about this past season. If, if if they're not saying that about this past season, then there's no way you can say about it next year. Because but here's the more thing, than likely, that, though. if he plays next year, he'll be in a better situation than Tampa. Here's the pushback on that. Year before that, he did pretty decent. Maybe not Tom Brady standards, but you could say as a quarterback, he did decent year before that. Next yeah, year, they made it to the uh, divisional playoffs, right. uh, divisional round. Yeah, this year he can always say, "Well, had a lot of injuries. You know, my last year had a lot of injuries. Had a lot of um, people missing. You know, Gronk was gone. Blah blah blah." Yeah, he has an excuse. Has the an same out. thing happen? He has an out. The same thing happens again the next year. It's no longer an excuse now. Now people looking at man, you just old and old and old, right? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> You <laughs> quit two, two, three years ago. Yeah, you just old and raggedy. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, because I hear you. Because look at his three years in Tampa. First yeah, year, win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. First, first year, they win the Super Bowl. Second right. year, they, they get bounced out the divisional round. Last year, they were absolutely terrible in the, in the regular season. And they get bu- uh, bushed out in the uh, in the, in the wild card round. Right. So you and do the only reason they made it because they was in the sorry, the, the South sorry South. division. Yeah. Yeah, they, they was, I was in Texas, that was a losing a losing season. Oh, it was a losing season in my mind for sure. Mm-hmm. It's a losing season. Right. Like, there's no way you can fix my eyes to to saw what I saw and say that that was a winning season. There's no way you can ever convince me that that was a winning season just because they made the playoffs at eight and nine. There's no way no that, way. that that team was sorry. It was a mm-hmm. lot of injuries, and Tom played. He did. He Tom Brady played like trash. He played mm-hmm. like Dookie. He did right. not look Tom Brady esque. Yeah. So, so to your credit, yes, I see the way that he played and everything that shut down this past year. He should retire. He, 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 ma- yeah, matter of fact, retired. right? You're right. Look, uh, look, look, matter of fact, shouldn't have played at all. Let's be right. honest. All right. So, so if we really gonna have the Tom the Tom Brady conversation, he shouldn't have stepped on that field at all last year. He should have okay. stuck with his original original retirement and been done with it and not even put himself through that. But I'm not going to sit here and say that it tore his legacy because of that one season. I can't take away seven Super Bowl titles. I can't take away all the great things and the great moments he's been a part of. Mm-hmm. Now, does does it does it leave a sour taste in his mouth? Oh, it definitely leaves a sour taste in his mouth. And that's another part of the 50 percent of me that says, I don't know if he's 100 percent done yet, because he'll, he'll find a way to use that as motivation. Like, oh, these motherfuckers think I'm really dookie. Oh, these motherfuckers think I'm really trash. They must not know I got seven Super Bowl titles. I'm Tom fucking Brady. 
Uh, you know, it, he can possibly use that type of motivation. And next, you know, he ends up in a great situation. Right. And, and then and reality it, hits you. And you realize. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with you. Way. Look, I, I know we just talking shit right now. And I'm talking mm -hmm. a lot of hypotheticals. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm talking a lot of hypotheticals. But at the end of the day, I need to make sure that come September, come around. If I'm 100% sure that he's retired, he don't need to be on a damn roster. That's the okay. only way I will believe okay. it when September comes around because we've been in this situation with him before. Same thing last year. You know, Tom Brady's retired. Who's going to be the next quarterback to be the GOAT, take over that podium? Mm -hmm. And and then next, you know, 40 days later, he's willing to risk a divorce and lose his family over playing football again. So now that he damn sure ain't got nothing to lose now besides his health, you know, yeah. I'm not ready to 100% close the door on him not playing. That's all I'm saying. So well, to, I'm going to yes, say this to Schmack. Yeah. <laughs> to Matt's comment, you know, if he if he does go on the and don't make it to the Super Bowl, I said to me that's a losing that's a losing season cuz now you can't use excuse oh I have pieces. I have, you got a team. Oh yeah. You got a team. There was there was first and second in almost every category like this year. Or the Niners was. <clears throat> now you add a quote unquote great quarterback, and you don't make it to the Super Bowl. That's a, that's a losing season. Oh well, well I, I'm I'm with you. That would be a losing season because that would be the whole point of him pushing off retirement for a second time. That would be the point of him coming back, knowing exactly exactly what you got when things aren't perfect around him. We mm -hmm. know what we got with Tom Brady when things aren't perfect. When the offensive yeah. line ain't perfect, when the offensive weapons ain't healthy and performing, mm -hmm. when the defense, who's top tier right. Super Bowl caliber, ain't playing Super Bowl caliber defense. We seen when it ain't perfect around him, we got exactly what you got last year. That's exactly right. what you got last year. So mm -hmm. we know. We know exactly what you get when Tom Brady's situation ain't perfect around him. So he has to win if he does come back and go to a San Francisco. To me, mm -hmm. there's there's no there's no there's no if buts or maybe get to the division around, maybe we make a championship game and pants. No, 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 no. If you come out of retirement and and leave the media on the hook for a second year in a row playing with retirement, you better go in the chip. Right. I, and so that's a lot of pressure to put on one guy. That's a lot of pressure to put on a 46, 47 year old guy to be 47 around that time mm -hmm. next year comes around. And that's a lot to put on a franchise like San Francisco, whose window is open for a Super Bowl right now. And you don't want to close it by wasting another year on a broken down 47 year old quarterback who can't stay retired. Right. So I, I see both sides of it. I really do. But until first or second week of September, when the regular season kick off, I need to see him in the booth. With Fox collecting that thirteen-year, three hundred seventy-five million dollar contract, if I don't see that, then then we know what it is. He's playing. All right. <laughs> it's That's either time, the time will tell the story. He's either on the booth or mm -hmm. he's on the field. By the time September rolls around, that's going to be our answer to me. All right. uh, <clears throat> speaking of situations, uh, uh, there was a a good that was posted on um, the Man Down uh, page as well as uh, the uh, ILW Sports by our, our man, uh, Melvin Wall. And uh, Mel's going to bring up the clip, but uh, uh, Steve Smith um, should be a Hall of Fame wide receiver when his time is up to be mm -hmm. uh, inducted into uh, Canton. Um, has some interesting things to say about uh, San Francisco's current quarterback, Brock Purdy. Go ahead, play it. All uh right. -huh. Brock Purdy. got another front draft. They can opportunity, opportunity after opportunity. Has Zach Wilson shown us in two years what Brock Purdy has shown us in seven games? No. The last pick. How, how did that happen? You know how it happens? Scouts are scared. He's not the right height. He's not the right size. He's not at the right school. He's a third round pick, but you got a tall kid who can't hit the wall <laughs> of a bar. First round draft picks over and over and over again that cannot play football in the National Football League, who get opportunity after opportunity. We keep saying we're waiting for Brock Purdy draft status to show up. His draft status is he was the last one. You know why? Because these scouts are easy and they look at schools 
and they say this and they say that, they discount people based on some ancillary dumb, I don't know how to evaluate, but they do often. Well, so that brings me up to this question. Well, tell how you feel. Yeah, so yeah. that brings me that brings us to this question. Do situations matter? Do situations matter? Because uh the whole point of that clip, uh Steve Smith is is pretty much mm -hmm. saying that hey, you got a seventh round Mr. Relevant and Brock Purdy that has uh took his team to the NFC championship game, but you got cats like Baker Mayfield, who was a first overall pick, can't throw to uh uh hit the side of a barn, and he's getting opportunity after opportunity. Um is going to be a, a, another quarterback. Uh, Zach Wilson is headed down that path. Uh, number two overall mm -hmm. pick. Um, you know, he's one of the names that he brought up. Um, right, he's right. he's going to get opportunity <clears throat> after opportunity to be the starter with the New York Jets. Um, and until they get tired of him and finally figure out that he ain't it, and uh, uh, they're going to move on eventually. So, uh, you know, it, it, it begs that question, do situations matter? Um, and, and like, like Steve Smith said, you got scouts who are looking at schools, mm. you know, Hey, uh, this guy went to uh, Alabama, went to Ohio state, went to USC. We got to draft him high, but, but why can, can he play the position? Can he throw right. the position? Can, can, <clears throat> can he actually play quarterback? And, um, from what I took from that clip, uh, Steve Smith is, is he has points. He has mm -hmm. great points. Mm -hmm. Um, but one of my drawbacks to what he said is, uh, I don't think he factored in here the situation. Okay. The situations matter. Brock right. Purdy, look, give Brock Purdy his credit. He came in, and the team did not drop off. Mm -hmm. All right? San Francisco 49ers did not drop off at all. Matter of fact, they continued to win, and they, they didn't lose for almost two and a half months. Okay. All right? And then they made it all the way to the NFC Championship game. And because of his injury, mm -hmm. and then the injury to his backup, they did not have a chance in the NFC Championship game. So, uh, pretty much what I'm saying is, is Brock Purdy did his job, but we also got to look at the situation that he was thrust into. So, uh, uh, Brock Purdy goes to a damn good team in San Francisco that has a good coach in Kyle Shanahan, an offensive coach, mind you. Mm -hmm. Great. Great pieces on offense, great defense. Right, man. An offensive line that's going to keep them upright. Right, right. For the most part, until they ran mm -hmm. into Philly and decided not to block uh, Hassan Reddick with a uh, with a tackle <laughs> tight end. Tight end. <laughs> <laughs> um, but 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 regardless, right? The team that drafted that team, him. Right. Mm -hmm. The the team that drafted him did such a great job to put him in situations of success. Okay. I got. I, I mean, look at other examples. Does Tom Brady become Tom Brady if he doesn't go to the Patriots? You know, we we have to take that to account. He gets okay. to a coach, a good coach in Belichick that mm -hmm. has a good defense, a good offensive line, mediocre offensive weapons, but still you can overcome that when you have a good offensive line and good defense. Um, does Patrick Mahomes be Patrick Mahomes if he doesn't go to Kansas City? Gets Tyreek Hill and. Travis Kelsey for four years of his mm -hmm. five years as a starter gets Andy Reid as a coach, you know, a good offensive minded coach. Y'all mm -hmm. know I'm a KC boy. I love Pat Mahomes. Really? But I, I, I don't know if Pat Mahomes turns into Patrick Mahomes, the, what, what we see if he doesn't go to Kansas City. So mm -hmm. to me, situations matter on where you get drafted and where you play at and, and the timing of it. Um, uh, but, but what you say, Big Homie? Here's what I say. I think, first of all, when you look at what Steve Smith said, there's so many segments that need to be broken up and separated and talked about separately. Yeah, it's a lot of nuances that you got to you know break it down. Into, so yeah. I'm going to speak to what you said first. Situation does matter, but situations is not a total thing that matters. Well, what I mean, let's go with mm -hmm. your, your um, comment about Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady goes to another team he there's an argument to say he wouldn't win seven but i i was i would argue that he will at least win one maybe two because no matter what system you win you still have to have a, a particular skill set to succeed in that system 
It's the player. Um, Ryan Mallet was in that system. He didn't yeah. succeed. True. Yeah. Um, so that's Ryan, can't. That's Ryan Mallet, dog. <laughs> I'm just saying. So you gotta I, see I how know. a certain you gotta have a certain skill set. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can't you can't be a bum get into a system and say, hey, this system works, you know, pulling nigga out the out the um crowd, put him in a uniform, and then throw some touchdowns. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a certain skill set. So yeah, situation matter, but at the same time, you still have a certain skill set. And then it goes still tells you uh in the mindset how the NFL and sports in general are slow to move to the trends mm. you know you look at let's start back when the uh the black quarterback wasn't a thing you couldn't be if you're black don't even look at you as a quarterback so as you get to the nfl we're going to virtue to receiver we're going to virtue to a corner you know better, better get ready like a, to change position right you're going to change position you know and then slowly you start seeing that start to develop so it's not no longer uh about your colors about your skill set if you can play. Yeah. If you can play. All right. So, but it shifted. Now you look at um young out of Alabama. What's the what's the rhetoric? What's the story? What's the narrative? He's short. You don't have a typical, he don't have that typical quarterback um brain yeah. and all that stuff. So it's still showing you they still slow to move. Mm-hmm. You know, because does he have a skill set? If you're if you are a scout and you go watch him play, you know. You're watching what, do you see, what do you see that he has that you can um put him insert him into your your offense and make it work at your particular team mm-hmm. you know that's what your job is as a scout and I, I will um say what he said about them being lazy is a fact yeah I agree with that it's, I agree with that you're, you, are draft, you are drafting on it's like a, a pattern you know okay here's the pattern that we use Here's a template that we use to draft. And if you don't fit that template, you're not going to be in that drafted. position. Yeah. You ain't even draft. You're still looking at what you see, evaluate what you see, and see if it works in skills in, in their particular organization. So mm-hmm. I think like so much stuff that he said it has to be broken down. Yeah. I, I agree with what he said to a degree. You know what I'm saying? I think he did need to add situation because if Brock Purdy is on the Texans, would you hear about him? Oh no. You know what I'm saying? You, you hear about another Houston Texans quarterback failing. Right. Because he doesn't have the pieces or the coaching. The coaching. Yep. Yep. Like Mahomes. Mahomes has a skill set. So I think if you put him somewhere else, he still will be successful. How successful, we, we might never know. True. Because he has he has he had pieces, skill set, and coaching. And he, had he had all mm-hmm. the right, he had all the right things there. So I think it's like you have to put all those nuances in when you start talking about that. I think the bigger point to take from what Steve was saying is that, you know, we have to stop being lazy as as fans too, as scouts. As ta- talent, ev- talent evaluators. Uh, as you scouts. have to evaluate what you see. Yeah. And, and and Brock Purdy is showing that he can win. You know, he can do it instead of having Zach Wilson. Look at Zach Wilson's situation. Zach Wilson's he situation has, is that it's good. It's pretty good. It's he has coaching. Good. He has coaches. he has he has um team around him. He has yeah. defense. He has offensive he weapons. Mm-hmm. So the problem is him. Why ain't you succeeding? No, the problem is him. It has nothing to do with his, you know his situation is right. His situation you, you is insert, right. And you, 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 you bring up a good point. I think Purdy was to see. You bring up a good point. Look, and this is why this is why I can't I can't go against what you're saying because Zach Wilson is pretty much the prime example. Of course, since Steve brought him up. You mm. look at a guy that, like you just said, is in a good situation. Why aren't you winning? Right. Because, I, I, look, even even for our Jets fans out here, yes, mm-hmm. Zach Wilson didn't didn't really wasn't the uh, uh, in his time this year as quarterback. Yes, the team found ways to win, but they won despite of him. <laughs> they won yeah, like that, not yeah. with the help of him. Mm-hmm. So let's be honest about it. look. They there were situations where. The uh the Jets were getting like last minute defensive plays, sacks, or whatever, or or anything like that. And uh uh you 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 can't you can't sit here and act like like just because he 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 was scouted as the second best talent, you take him at second. Right. Does he fit your scheme? Mm, it, that's what gotta be, 
There's got to be other intangibles about him that makes him worthy of a second overall mm-hmm. pick. That's a good it point, has man. to be. Right. You know, uh, uh, you you can't you you can't sit here and 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 force something that's not going to work just because you got him second overall. Right. It, you, look, it's okay, and, and and this is and this is I think another part of Steve Smith's uh, clip that I wish. Um, he probably would have said he might have said it in the clip. Obviously, mm. it's 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 rendered down to a certain right. point. Right. But if he straight up says that, hey, it's OK to feel one way about a situation. Let it play out and realize that it doesn't work. And it's mm. OK to admit mm. that you were wrong. Right. It's OK. It happens. It happens. Not everybody's right about everything. Not everybody's perfect not everybody's going to get everything right on the first shot it's okay Mm -hmm. to sit here and say hey we're wrong about zach wilson we are absolutely wrong about him so what we're going to do is we're not going to waste our window Mm -hmm. we're not going to waste our matter of fact arizona even though so speak of speak of arizona remember Mm -hmm. arizona fired steve wilkes and got rid of josh rosen after one year Mm -hmm. what do they do the next year let's go get cliff kingsbury Let's go use our number one overall pick and go get Kyler Murray. All right. Now, hindsight 2020, Cliff, Cliff ain't there no more. But guess what? You still got a talent in right. in uh in uh uh, uh Kyler yeah. Murray that could possibly possibly still be the right answer at quarterback, mm-hmm. depending on coaching and situation. Oh, that's why we'll come back to that. But we'll come back to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it speaks to the to the fact that the matter is, is you have to take account that it's okay, we were wrong. But we're not. What we're not going to do is keep riding with him just because he was second like overall pick. Like, right. We're 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 not going to waste our window because the Jets got a window right now. Mm-hmm. They just missed the playoffs, and right. and 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 Salah's what second year. Mm-hmm. So you just missed the playoffs. You I was going to break see, him up too, man. But I'm saying you can see the team getting better. You can see the team getting better. So. Let's not waste our team's opportunity by trying to stick with a second guy, second overall pick, mm-hmm. just because he was second overall pick. If right. he don't work, he just doesn't work. Mm-hmm. All right, because at this is. point, because at this point, what haven't you not done for Zach Wilson to improve? What haven't right. you the not done? Doing. What haven't you not done right. to have Zach, mm-hmm. Zach Wilson be one of the best quarterbacks? The fact of the matter is that Trevor Lawrence. Literally, pretty much stayed with the same team. Just mm-hmm. changed the coaching, and and I can see right now that damn it, Trevor Lawrence, he gonna be part of that next group of young quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. that's gonna be part of. Oh, yeah, it. I can't say, say that about Zach Wilson. I can't either, bro. I can't either. I don't see it, but I think that Matt and um Ant made good points. Yeah, you don't you know bring him like, up, bring him up, bring him up. I didn't see you don't draft, before. don't draft. You uh, know, according to the best player, but draft to the player that fits your scheme. Mm, mm. You know, and I think that's a great point where Ant said, you know, if he don't fit your scheme, don't draft yeah. him. You know, we look at this real draft now. Look at all all now now we're in the season where everybody's doing all the mock drafts and who should go where, blah, blah, blah. But that particular player that you think should go high may not fit your scheme. Mm-hmm. You know, take Jalen Carter Carter, for instance. You know, excellent talent mm-hmm. from Georgia. But mm-hmm. You might pass him up because I got interior. I got interior players. I might not. He can't. He may not be able to convert to an edge rusher. Yeah. Any edge rusher, I'm not gonna pick him just because he's the best player available as far as talent wise. He's not fitting our scheme. He's not fitting yeah. what we running. He's not what we need. And then Matt's point was about Zach Wilson look like he's not coachable. That part right there, and tying into the Jamarcus Russell thing, there's two parts that I, I, makes me think about one. When you do your interview, initial interview, how they come off? What mm-hmm. you no? Know, what are you? What are you seeing in him? Just not Madden, exactly. You know, Thank you, man. right? Just not Madden, Thank right? You, man. Man. you know, what I'm saying, what do you see in that person? You know, I, you be on the field, and I can see that skill right there. But when I'm talking to you one on one, I get something what, else. I get something else. You no, know, like you're not. You're not. We're not connecting. I'll give you an example. I went uh, years ago. I went to this church, right? I, I've been going to church for a long time, so I started going to another church. And the guy, the pastor of that church, we just wouldn't, we couldn't make no connection. 
was nothing wrong with the, the people and stuff. I, I was cool with them, but it was something about him. We just wasn't making a connection. And I knew it was like, I can't go here. You know, it wasn't like he was he was saying something I didn't like. It was just we just you know how you know from it when you talk to somebody, yeah. there's no connection there. There's no connection. Yeah. There's no connection. So you know when you talk to somebody, whether or not they're coachable, whether or not they're gonna fit in your locker room. You know, we're not gonna fit in what you got going on because chemistry plays a big part of sports. It matters. It matters, you know. And so this this guy comes in, he might throw the chemistry off. Yeah, he might be talented, but your chemistry ain't working. You know, you you steady, you're not where you should be or could be because that chemistry's not working. So all those things play a part. Chemistry's fucked up, man. It ain't gonna work. And then and then at the same time, when a person comes in. You think about when you go to an interview, you put your best face on, you know what I'm saying? You, you say, oh, yeah, I'm going to be on time. And no, you ain't never been on time in your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to be on time, man. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going to always do this. I'm hey, always there. Hey, Mel, hey, Mel, when, uh, when did you ever see me on time? Right. <laughs> 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 For real. I mean, don't bring that up. Let you tell it yourself. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, I ain't no shame in my game. No shame <laughs> in my game. Hey, and the fucked up part is I got a watch on my left arm and it's still never on time. <laughs> yeah, he be looking like, yeah, he'll be here in a minute. <laughs> I just start cooking for him until he get here. <laughs> but yeah, man. So, you know, so look at Jamarcus Russell. He might have put he might have put on a good face in that interview. Mm-hmm. And then when he got there, shit, all about this leaning these, he leaned this holes. Mm-hmm. That's all he is, you know what I'm saying? Let me get this money for these bitches. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. And, I mean, and you know, that's how some guys is. You know, you know, you get a big contract, you got a big contract. And I'm about, you know, get that money. And he didn't hey, study. He stuck around long enough to get his mama out the hood. Yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? He got got his mama out the hood, got his money. He didn't he didn't put the effort in. I think the skill set mm-hmm. was there. You know what I'm saying? He just didn't put the effort in to develop. Because you go to that next level, it's more than just talent. Yep, more than skill set. You got to hone it. You got to you you hone you gotta, it. Yeah. You got to fit that skill set for that level. You have to study. You have to know how to read different mm-hmm. defenses. And depending on what kind of offense you, you ran in college, it's different and then different in the next level. All those things play a factor. You have to hone your skills. Yeah, he was overweight, but that goes to what I'm saying, though, and. His overweight, he didn't put the effort in to be a professional. Far when you're in college, you are, you're, you're an amateur. When you get to yeah. NFL, you are professional. You're professional, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you have to make that transition from being an amateur <coughs> to professional. He didn't do that. You know? No. And if he, uh, whether or not you can say he had a skill set, we don't know his skill set when it translated because he didn't put forth the effort. You know? Well, now no, he's, no, he, no. He, he, he's a mean. So Marcus Russell had the skill set. He did not have the uh, mentality or mm-hmm. the willingness or the, you know, <laughs> the, the the effort to be one of the best. Yes, he right. was overweight. Yes, he he didn't read defenses. He didn't mm-hmm. read the playbook. Yeah. He damn sure didn't read the playbook. How about those cheese? <laughs> so you know, um, I mean, this that's what so you talk about. We're not on that segment yet. <laughs> yeah, but, but but at the same time, you talk about Demarcus Ruckwood. Now now look at what what Zach Wilson is doing. You know he mm-hmm. wants to be Mister Mister Motherfucker. You right. know he wants to be Mister Cool. <laughs> no no literally he wants to be yeah, Mister Motherfucker. Right. So so that that's where you that's where you see his mind frame. That's mm-hmm. where you see uh, uh, his his thought process not matching up with what he says he wants. Mm-hmm. You know he says he wants to be one of the best. He says he wants to be a winning quarterback. He says he wants this, he wants that. But what are you showing us? Right now, you're showing us that, that you're just another petulant kid that was spoiled. Now you right. got money and now you want to be a motherfucker. And hey, so man, it's like this, man. You I don't I, 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 Hey, I don't hey, that's my man Scott by the way, man. I didn't know Scott <laughs> since, since we was in high school, man. So shout out to my uh, man Scott. Right. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah. I, I I don't have a problem with you just take the same talking about Zach Wilson out here, you know, fucking these hoes. I ain't got no problem with that. Do what you do. But you gotta know how to I don't balance either. that. I don't need You gotta know how yes. to balance that. You gotta there know how to balance is. that. You know, like like Tupac said, I'm getting green as I'm supposed to. I'm gonna holler these hoes and see how many I can go through. You know what I'm saying? You're young. That's how you're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? You got money. Yeah. Do what you do. 
but you gotta balance it. It's all like it's all like we have a job. You can go out, you gotta work Saturday morning, you can go out Friday night, get blitzed. Yeah. But you show up for work the next day. And you show up and your eyes are bloodshot, red, and slanted. Shit, I used to do it all the time. I used to come up to work. The, I, used to, I used to come up to yeah, work. Joey Henderson. Yeah, I'm at Harrington. Yeah. Straight, straight, straight gone from the night before. Right. I'm talking right. about zooted. I've been drinking. I've been on the right. blue weed. I've been mm -hmm. you know, slapping but you showing up, But you at work. But I was on work. I was mm -hmm. at work. And not only did I show up, man, I showed my ass. Yeah, I, I'm that's supposed to be. And, you balance, and, you, it's yeah. work life balance. You balance it. And, and Matt brings up a, a good point about DeMarcus. He did have the gun. He had the cannon, had the arm, had mm -hmm. the size. And if he had it between the ears, right. I mean, I'm not saying we talking about Jamarcus Russell as, as one of the, the, the best black quarterbacks to go down in history or possibly one of the best quarterbacks in history. I'm not saying that. But we got robbed as fans of football, and he robbed himself of what mm -hmm. potentially he could have been because he couldn't get out of his own way. Zach right. Wilson needs to get out of his own way. It's certain cats that get drafted high that get in their own way. Right. And pretty much what Steve Smith is saying is like, stop looking at, you know, all these being lazy with, oh, well, just because he's on Mel Kuyper's mm -hmm. and Todd McShay's big board and, and he's, you know, no. Why don't you go out? Go Because what do we talk about? So on this show, ILW Sports, we are built on uh, on what we see. And what you can prove with what you see and right. so what what we're saying is is what do we see and <laughs> do the stats right man back up what we see no, so we're not so we're not a hundred percent about the stats here mm -hmm. we're going about hey what do we see and do we have the stats that can back up what we see mm -hmm. and so that's the fact of the matter is is can you go out there and play can you go out there and do what you need to do i mean it's not about what school you went to. It's not about who you was coached with. When right. you put on the tape against top competition, do you ball up, whether your team won or not, do you personally show up and ball <laughs> or do you fall back? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just what it is, man. Uh, <laughs> you'll book me this year. Hey, <laughs> hey, Kofi, hey, Kofi, what you doing right now? What you doing right now? Because we can bring you on the show. We can have a quick little wrestling segment because we just had the Royal Rumble this yeah. past uh, uh, Saturday. So if you, if you ain't doing shit right now, go get your ass in in in, the, in your studio and and come on because we got about like an hour and in, in, in eight minutes left of the uh, airtime. So come on, that's how that's how we rock. You ready? Because <laughs> we ready. But anyway, um, but yeah, to me, situations matter. Um, this is all on Zach Wilson now. This this ain't. Oh yeah. It, so it, oh, it, now, here's the question now. Yeah, and, and I don't disagree with what you said. But so you the Jets? Are you gonna give them the space to get it correct? Or are you gonna look for someone someone else oh, to fill that position? Oh, oh no, I'm on I'm on year three, about to go to year three. I'm. So I'm are, in, are, are we moving on? I'm no, I'm not moving on. I'm in. Oh, you gotta earn this shit. I'm bringing somebody okay. in. I'm okay. bringing somebody in. Okay. You better have a quarterback battle. And if you really want it. This is Is that so veteran or draft? It don't matter. Okay. I, I, it, it, whichever is the cheapest route with the most talent. So, so, I mean, let's be honest, man. We've all been in that situation where it's put up mm -hmm. or shut up time. It's either you or it's him. Right. So wh what we going to do? To me, if you're in a situation where it's either you or him mm -hmm. and he can't stand out, okay. I know what I got. I because I've tried. I've got I got two years of, of, right. of data on you. I got two years of data on you. That I got a good sample size. Right. This ain't this ain't nothing. It, it ain't like I got Trey Lance data on you. You know, Trey Lance mm -hmm. been in the league two years, but still sample size is still so small before you even can right. make a decision on Trey Lance. His sample size is way too small to make a decision on Trey Lance. Zach Wilson, I got enough on you. I got enough on you. Mm -hmm. And and you and you can't win the competition. All right. Hey, we got him in the first round, second overall. I'll be happy with a third round pick at this point for that guy. Yeah, yeah. That we got a second overall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This, this ain't this ain't on us. This ain't on us at this point. We tried. 
Just, just on that. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I mean, I don't disagree with that. I yeah. didn't. Uh, but uh, Derek Man, Carr. I, don't... I know a lot of yeah, people hate on Derek Carr, but I mean, those who have to Derek give it too much for him. I, yeah, he's solid. With what he'd be better than Zach Wilson. Oh yeah, I would. I mean, you look at the pieces that you got. That he has around him. Look at the pieces he has around him. I like. Gary I mean, that he hasn't. I mean, he has in um in in New York. He got good defense. He got mm-hmm. weapons. He got a good offensive line. Offensive line and, and offensive line is going to be better because they're going to be getting Bear Tucker back from injury. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to have weapons is going to be better. You're getting um, uh, your your uh, your running back uh, um, uh, from Iowa State. Uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Breeze Hall back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who, right, right. who, who easily could have been rookie of the year had he stayed healthy? Easily, mm-hmm. um, in, in the way he was going, Garrett Wilson as a rookie wide receiver did mm-hmm. their thing. Um, I mean, there's literally a handful of people that uh you can name on the offensive uh, side that actually p- uh, helped produce this year. Um, and if given opportunity, Elijah Moore could have done more numbers. But besides the point, there's there's Ways <laughs> that this team can succeed, and we all know, <laughs> and we all know that the reason why uh, that the uh, that the Jets didn't uh, finish on the on the right path is because quarterback position was lacking. Point blank. Period. Huh? Point blank. Period. So, um, uh. But no, let's let's uh quick <laughs> it's a quick quote in Lincoln Park lines. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all wow. But no, uh let's move on um because I sent the invite to Kofi. So let's get all our football talk in before Kofi pops up in this joint. Um so we talked about it before and it ended up happening. Sean Payton. Sean Payton end up going to the Denver Broncos. Man, how you feel about it? How you feel about it, big homie? Because you were actually uh, pretty against it. Yeah, man. I, I, I here's the thing. I, I'm not doubting Sean Payton's skills as a coach, mm-hmm. but you're going into a rough situation, bro. You have no draft capital, so you don't have a lot of wiggle room to move. Now, you, the salary cap is going up, so you may be able to get a a, a veteran or two in there, or a couple of free agents in there this year to kind of help you know what you need but you're not getting too much in the draft give up a lot for russell williams i mean russell wilson so yeah i mean i will say this out of all the coaches that's out there he may be the best one to go there because of his his um experience i'll say that but anybody who's looking for the broncos to turn around immediately i i don't, I don't think he's gonna be able to do it now, here's all I say. If they make a marginal to good improvement, that shows you how bad Hack it was. I don't really show you how bad he was. Yeah. You know, and you can say that 80% of that was all coaching and the other 20 is Russell Wilson. <laughs> oh, he's not going to escape. He's going to get some of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh no, no, he 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 gets something. Yeah, he he gets something. <laughs> yeah, but and, but they sold everything to get a ring like the Rams, but they they didn't get nothing in return. The Rams, he's got a ring. They gave us the house and got a ring. Denver gave us the house and and got foreclosed. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hey, shit. <laughs> My man said, "Gave up that house and got foreclosed." Ain't right, nothing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, what's this thing? I, I think they get. I, I say eight wins. Eight, and I think I think that's good. For what for for what they have and what what happened last year, eight they look good. Eight 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 nine. Eight yeah maybe eight nine. 
No, because yeah, because if they get eight wins, eight nine is the best that they'll be able to do. Yeah, so eight eight and nine, you know, that's good. Because I think most of that comes from coaching. Now, hey. they may, like I said, they got they they got they got a little extra money for them solid crap being raised, so they might be able to move, wiggle some stuff around, move some stuff around, get a player here too, restructure some stuff. We'll see. You need him with the bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, look. So team went five and twelve. Yeah. All right. Went five and twelve. Obviously hack it. Uh couldn't hack it. Um <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I'm with you. I'm with you on that point. Well, uh, next year will be the true telling. Um, exactly where uh hack it uh coaching skills. Right, really right. are as a mm-hmm. head coach. Uh, should he just stick with being a coordinator? Or uh, um, obviously he's going back to a. Uh, I think he went back to Green Bay to be a coordinator again. No, no, so. no, no, no. He went to no, the Jets. Got, yeah, he went to the Jets. Went That's why everybody said Aaron Rodgers might go there. He went to the Jets. He went to the Jets um, mm-hmm. as an offensive coordinator. So we'll see yeah. how that works out. But with Denver, obviously Sean Payton is a step up from the Daniel Hackett. We know that. All right. There's no doubt about that. There's no debate about he, that. He's a ladder up. He don't step up. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like, um, for, for my wrestling fans, like, uh, uh, Daniel Hack is Eugene and, uh, uh, Sean Payton is like, uh, Seth Rollins. So just to, you know, <laughs> paraphrase that. Um, uh, so Sean Payton is a champion. He's won it. He knows how to right. win. Right. He's, and he's done a lot of winning in regular season. And had a lot of playoff appearances, so mm-hmm. yeah, he may not have the Super Bowls like a like a, a a Belichick, but in this time and age of football, for the last twenty five plus years, if you just get one, and you make significant and multiple <laughs> appearances in the playoffs, that makes you one of the great coaches. So when you yeah. think of Sean Payton, you think of Andy Reid, John Harbaugh, mm-hmm. Mike mm-hmm. Tomlin. Um, well, who's another coach that has uh, won? Super Bowl, but they do uh, many appearances in the uh, playoffs. Doug Peterson, you could throw him on that yeah, list. Yeah. Um, but those you, you're on that list that does a lot mm-hmm. of winning in the regular season, multiple playoff appearances, Super Bowl championships. So Sean Payton's on that list. So you can't sneeze at what he's done. You know what I'm saying? So uh, <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense, yeah. So. Um, a- AP gets what I'm putting down. Um, but Sean Payton, all he had, and this is what gives me optimism that I think that the, the Broncos could at least make a wild card spot is because Sean Payton is smart enough to utilize what he does have there. Um, he's go- he's going to get Javante Williams back at the, yes. at the running back position. He's mm-hmm. going to get Tim Patrick back at wide receiver. Still has mm-hmm. Jerry Judy. I don't know how y'all feel about Jerry Judy, but it oh, with the Jerry right Judy, coach. A great running back. I mean, great receiver, man. Great well, well it, 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 what I'm saying, he, if you look at his stats and his performances up and down, if you can get a good coach like Sean Payton, uh, he he's going to get him steered to the right right way. You also mm-hmm. got uh, Courtland Sutton. So you got three wide receivers. Two of your wide receivers are at least 6'3". All right? So that, right. Gives, you, that gives you something to play with. Um, mm-hmm. The defense. We've all talked about how the defense of the Denver has always been solid. So right. the defense is there, all right. So it's not a lot that you really have to fix. And and I think the last time we talked about this, we talked about how it's you know the ceiling is playoff appearance. Oh, with, with Sean Payton, mm-hmm. because just that's just how good he is as a coach. All right, mm-hmm. let's just be real about. It. And so, uh, am I expecting it in year one? Obviously. Better than five and twelve, I think we all can agree that they should definitely be better than five and twelve next year. But here's another thing to add to that too: you get a better coach, plus a I'm sure you're gonna bring in his own people, so a better coaching staff. Yeah, we need to see some approval from Russell Wilson immediately. Immediately, you know, immediately because if you don't see improvement from Wilson, then it wasn't like I said before, just hacky. It. it was it was Russ. It was Russ too. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think you have to see some improvement from Wilson. Maybe there's some kind of tweaking here and there. Whatever they need to do to fix what uh, was ailing Russ. Because you by can't week go- eight, by week eight, we got our answer. Yeah, 
you can't go a game and score just one touchdown. <laughs> or, you know, score just field goals. Not for the money they pay for you. Too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the money I paid for you, I should not be, you know, nothing less than three touchdowns a game. Too much money. I paid too much money for you. You know what I'm saying? Gave up, gave up too much. Gave up too much and paid too and much. And paid too much. <laughs> right. <laughs> for real. You just call you just costing the motherfucker. <laughs> Left and right, right bro. <laughs> You'd be on a plane doing aerobics and you know, jazz exercising. Let's ride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's ride. Yeah, man, sit your corny ass down. No motherfucker, let's win because you let's cost win. too much, bitch. You you didn't cost me way too much. I don't like losing oh, all my money. Take oh, all my short, corny like, ass Jerry Curl. <laughs> <motherfucker. laughs> you damn light skinned motherfuckers. That's what's wrong. Man. That's what's wrong, Josh. Y'all, y'all yellow boys. Try what you mean, y'all? You yellow too, motherfucker? Yeah, y'all yellow boys. It's y'all, man. Y'all be on that bullshit, man. Yeah, be a host. It's time to be the host. Right. Uh, not the cook. No, ain't no more let Russ cook. We ain't letting you be in the kitchen no more. Yeah. The last time you did, the chicken came out raw. Came out raw. You know, uh, the me. biscuits Sorry, was dry as hell. Up in here. Hey, them biscuits was drier than Popeye mm -hmm. biscuits. Now, you know right. if your biscuits is drier than Popeye biscuits, you didn't accomplish something that possibly <laughs> can't be never done in the history of cooking. Like, them, right. like Popeye biscuits is dry as fuck. Like, if you get drier than Popeye's biscuits, them shits is like, Fuck up, fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you, hey, you ever want to really get away with a true kind? Mm. <laughs> just just tie somebody up and feed them Popeye's biscuits, biscuit. and don't give them no water, <laughs> and don't give them no water, and they'll, I mean, they'll die, they'll die, they'll die of uh, strangulation on, on dry sure. biscuits. Oh. Right, right. I mean, for real, though, you're right, though, man. <laughs> hey. That, that, that is the most uh, easiest crime to get away with. You'd be like, yo, he was eating a biscuit. I didn't he do didn't nothing. <laughs> I ain't had to poison him. I ain't had to shoot him. I ain't had to stab him. All I got to do is feed him a pop pop biscuit, biscuit and give him no water. <laughs> That's For real, it. though, man. I mean, all that money, them spirals should be tight. It should be no wobbly, but it should be tight. Yeah, I, I, Spirals I, I, should I'm... be tighter than a pastor's handshake. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, <laughs> I didn't pass this handshake, but, <laughs> but I mean, you know, hey, yeah. you know how they do, especially when a female coming. How you doing, sister? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sister Johnson, right? <laughs> scheming ass, motherfucker. Hey, scheming. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas trying to get me. <laughs> <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, be the hostess, exactly. But I mean, go, uh, go ahead. I wouldn't be surprised if if they get eight, nine wins. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they make it to the wild card round, um, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, but hey, it, it's I'm I'm with you. I need immediate, immediate. Oh, yeah. Signs of of, yeah. of of turnaround from Russell Wilson, mm -hmm. specifically only him. I'm right. not worried about the rest of the team. And I'm talking about just him and only him. Um, because if not, I will not be afraid to sit your high expensive ass on the bench on and the bench. So here, here's my thing. Don't be surprised if Sean Payton also brings in a decent backup too. Oh, yeah. Just for just for that reason. Because at some point you we just gotta be real about the situation, like bro. If you ain't got it by, by week eight, week nine, man, I'm I'm not gonna sit here just especially when with what I what my team got and with my coaching, I got a chance <laughs> to get close. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah, she probably said, time well she probably she probably <laughs> ran it on them too hard. <laughs> but, hey, hey, I, hey, I, you know, it looks fine though though. Um, when you saw um, Sean Payton like um, doing broadcast, do you look uncomfortable in that suit? You should look uncomfortable. Well, he's used to wearing sweat, bro. He, I know. Like, he's used to wearing track suits, bro. <laughs> he was like, he was, he was uncomfortable, bro. Uh, when, when I would watch him on on Colin Cowherd, he he would be a little bit more dressed down. Where like yeah, he, he, he and dressed down, he looked comfortable. Like he be on like yeah. uh, with Terry, you know. He be looking like uncomfortable in, the, in them suits. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah, man, I can't do these suits. <laughs> I need to give me a tracksuit on. 
Yeah, he's like, yo, I'm used to being in the Al Davis track suit, right? You know, in my hand, whistle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this suit shit ain't for me. So yeah, I, I'm with you. I thought he was uncomfortable too, but yeah, he uncomfortable. I, I look, I, like I said, I won't be surprised if there's a, a wild card round uh, appearance because I mean, Sean Payton is one of the better coaches in our time of watching football in the last mm -hmm. thirty years. He just mm -hmm. is. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, but there's another coach, and I was, I was. And now that I thought about it and looked at all the connections, it does make sense. It's a it's a good move for for the guy, um, right. and it's and it possibly it's a good turnaround for the Houston Texans. So D'Amico right. Ryan, yeah. defensive coordinator, former defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers, goes over to Houston. Um, if you guys remember, uh, played uh, in Houston when he was in the NFL. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know we talk about it, we joke about it. Oh, you know, black. Uh, coach going to Houston, man, you 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 gonna get one year. <laughs> <laughs> but uh they already went ahead and signed him to a six year deal. Um I think uh Houston has heard everybody's jokes about how they've been treating um black coaches because they made no hesitation on uh sharing the amount of years that he got on the contract. Uh that was the first thing they they made sure that Adam Schefter <laughs> Put in a tweet, six right. year deal. Yeah, I know what you. I know what you were doing, Houston. <laughs> You've been hearing us talk about you. You've been hearing everybody on the internet talking about how y'all treat black quarterbacks on TV. I heard it. I know mm -hmm. you did because right. you made sure that you put out there it's a six year deal. So when I talked about it on the other night, Tuesday night, this is what uh, pretty much the timeline that I set for D'Amico Ryan's. So it's his first year. They're pretty like, you know, well, we only won three games last year. You know, this is this is your gimme year. This is gimme mm -hmm. year. This is first year. So it's not going to matter if he goes 0-17. They're not going to fire him, all right? Second year, all right, you got to show us you can get more than at least five or six wins. You got to show progression. Second year is the progression year. Third year is he needs to be showing that <clears throat> they can make a playoff. They can make a wild card round. And if the third year going into that offseason, mm -hmm. the front office feels that, hey, yeah, he's showing progression, but he still hasn't got us looking like at least a wild card round team, I think they'll probably think about moving on. If they feel that they he's gotten to that point that he can at least be a wild card round team, he'll get a fourth year. I, yeah, I don't disagree. I'll say this too. If you look at their watch their roster right now, mm -hmm. as the years progress, I need to see what you're building mm -hmm. too. Because, oh, yeah. You know, if you're not built by the second year, I don't see like an improvement in my roster. I, let's take wins out of it. Let's look at let's look at your roster. Because right now your roster's in shambles. You got two, maybe three good, good mentionable players. Mm -hmm. You know. So I'm looking at which next year, what, what kind of roster are you building? I need to see that's the first thing I'm looking at if I'm on the shit. What you what are you building? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're getting me, you know, like a, a, a shamble or rosters and shambles that same the next year, that first year, I mean, I, I'm mm -hmm. looking at you cross that by the second year, I don't see nothing. Then only thing that may keep your job is the pressure because you would we didn't hold a black quarter, I mean a black coach to a one year deal. But that second year, bro, you need to be. I need to see some kind of improvement in your roster, mm -hmm. and in that second year, I should see some kind of movement in your win column. Because you you have to build a team to compete not only for now but for the future. Mm -hmm. You got young pieces, so now you need to put some. Um, you need to put. Look at the Jets, the Jets, the Lions. Look at the teams like that who are building young pieces. Not for only the now, but for and, and the Jaguars for the mm -hmm. future. You yeah. know, they have team that can win that you're gonna see wins, you know, from now on while those team while those teams are in you know growing because they all young. Mm -hmm. By the time they hit their prime, you know, they still that's a good three, four years down the line, five for some of them. So that's what you want to see in Houston, because they got they're in that same frame far as player, the young players. I think that's mm -hmm. what I'm looking for. If I am ownership, yeah. If I'm, and and if I'm, go ahead. And 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 just to piggyback off what you're saying, because I think that that led to one of my uh, other takes on the situation is because you also look at um, 
Uh, yeah, Cooks may want out, but I I would try to convince him to stay um, because uh, it's evident you're going to have to get a quarterback. Uh, mm -hmm. The Davis Mills is just not it. All right, yeah, they, no, he's they, definitely they, not it. Y'all tried, all right? You tried, you tried, you tried to sit there and, and keep believing to yourselves and kept trying to fool the people to yourselves that Davis Mills was the answer. He's not it, all right? He's not uh, the little long neck giraffe, the Toys R Us uh, looking <laughs> boy ain't it, all right? Yes, he is. Um, Pierce is a good, it's a good piece. Yeah, Damian Pierce is a great piece. That's why I would, I would, I would convince um, Brandon Cooks to stay because – uh, I need the pieces that did stand out that were actually something that, uh, you know, defense feared in game planning, at least, that I'm going to need you to help me with this turnaround because they're in full rebuild, point blank period. Um, so, but here's what I, I am optimistic about having D'Amico Ryan's there because you look at, you look at uh, Robert Salah, mm -hmm. you look what, uh, who came from the same system that he was in San Francisco with Kyle Shanahan. Right. Look what he's done over two years for mm -hmm. a team that was in the same situation the Texans been in at the right. bottom. All right. Now, mm -hmm. he in two years, he got this guy that has changed the culture, got a team that was at the bottom, and at least knocking at the door of a playoff appearance. Knocking right. at the right. door. Mm -hmm. So D'Amico Ryan's, has a similar track, was a great defensive corner, just like Robert Salah was under Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco. Now you get at the opportunity where you get a pretty much an empty canvas because that's what Houston pretty much is. They got mm -hmm. a lot of money. They got a lot of draft picks. Last time I saw it, I think it was like 11 draft picks mm -hmm. in, in, in this upcoming draft. And they're going to have almost like a boatload of probably now that the cap space has been increased, they're probably going to have – upwards to probably like 55 60 million dollars to play with all right so you got an empty canvas to go in here right. and 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 do what you know how you close the gap between teams in the nfl and you go from one of the bottom to at least the middle of the pack it's talent talent, <laughs> you, talent you does every time you got the draft pick and you got the money to go get the talent now now it's up to D'Amico to formulate, just like Robert Salah did in New York, is to build your culture. The wins will come. That's why I'm saying the first year is the gimme year. It's not even going to matter what the record is. They just mm -hmm. need to show that you're building something. You're building the culture. Right, right. Second right. year is when you need to start maturing the culture, and you need to start adding actually some wins to it. Third right. year, you need to show that, damn it, you're a competitive team and you're going to be in some damn games, and you can make a playoff appearance. So D'Amico is going to get his chance. He's going to get more than one year, um, so he's going to break the curse. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's going to break the uh, the black coach curse in, in Houston. Um, and so third time's in charm. But um, I, yes, I, we'll, we'll see. I, obviously, you know, they're, they're drafting high in the, in the, um, in the draft. So. They got third? They got third, right? Second, no, they're second. They second. They second. Yeah, behind Charlotte the Bears. Yeah. Bears, Bears yeah. are one. They're two, and then so you're going to get your. Oh, choice. They, they got a choice of quarterback because Bears are probably not going to pick a quarterback. No, they're not so going to get a probably, quarterback. They have a choice of quarterback, so they <laughs> they had they have to pick. But I, I say Stroud. Uh, whatever uh, whatever I, you I do, can, well, whatever it, you do, initially it started with, with, with Will Bryce Levis. Young. Do not get Will <laughs> Levis. Hey man, don't hate on Will Levis, man. Will Levis had Bruh. some offensive of line problems, bro. He Bruh. had some offensive of line problems. Hold on. I'm not talking. I'm talking to D'Amico. <laughs> Hear me, D'Amico. <laughs> Do not get Will Levis. <laughs> Will Simple Levis is what a project. <laughs> He's a project. If you got a quarterback in front of him, <laughs> pick Will Levis. <laughs> you want somebody to start now? Go with Stroud or Young. <laughs> he said, "Don't get Will Levis." He said, "Don't do it." Don't do it. Do we it. trying, hey, bro. We trying to keep you past a year. Don't get Will Levis. <laughs> so don't do it. Yeah, trade. Uh, they could trade the first pick. You're right. They well, still get the choice of. Yeah, but the thing is, they don't have to. Bears don't have to trade that pick. I'm saying, even if they do trade that pick, you should still have a choice of a good quarterback. Because mm -hmm. somebody pick Young, you still got Stroud. No, so well, they ain't gonna pick two quarterbacks. Whoever is picking, you know what I'm saying? No, they have to a good quarterback. Just don't get Will Levis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Leave the Kentucky boy out. Leave him out. Leave him there. Shit, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it's it. It's a trap. It's a trap. You know what I'm saying? He, just, he said, don't listen. He that, he that, he that prototypical, tall, you know what I'm saying? All that. He's home. He, he, do he, said, he said, don't don't listen to Mel Kuyper. He's going to get you fucked yeah. up. <laughs> Man, you can't listen to no motherfucker with hair look like that. <laughs> not at that age. Yeah, not at that age. You ain't giving a hair plug like a motherfucker, bro. You're like 70 years old, your hair's still black. Don't even try it. <laughs> <laughs> your hair been black since I know you. <laughs> you used to con it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was a kid, you had you had black hair. Yo, chill you're out. Grown-ass man, you still got black hair. Yo, chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and shit yeah. like a helmet. I know you drafting football, but you ain't got what your head look like that. <laughs> Hey, this motherfucker wearing a helmet? No. Hey, Kofi, where you at? We ready for you, man, but we're going to finish this up. But uh, uh, I'm just saying, just just, just in general for D'Amico Ryans, man, I hope mm. it works out because um, a, a NFL better help it works out because, uh, you know, they, they, they can't, can't, they can't, you know, keep taking all these hits when it comes to uh, all these all these black head right. coaching jobs and shit. It's not it's not a good look for the NFL. It's not a good look for the league. Um, and and you know, it kind of scares you as a as a coach, even if as a defensive or offensive coordinator. You'd be like, yo, if I do my job too good, are are they gonna keep a bro around like that? Right, right. <laughs> but anyway, a impromptu uh, interview, y'all. As we always show love to our boys over there at the Dirty Hills, you know, the good brother Bo and the, the man Kofi Weeston. We say hop, get your ass ready, get your ass on here. And well, here he is. We got the one, the only Kofi Weeston. <laughs> what up, though? What up, though? Hey, hey, y'all like y'all like my little thing I just made? I like yeah, that. the dirty hills. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my bad. I'm on a laptop and all that. I I don't got a. I ain't using my phone. I realize it's a little more reliable to use a laptop to do the live streaming on. Right, nah, right, it's right. all good. It's, it's cool, all man. good. It's all good. Man, how you been, yeah. man? Man, I'm good. I can't complain, man. You know, I could, but then I had something to complain about, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> but shout out to you guys, man. Word, man. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Always, always, always. So, man, That's just had to. Got, what if I got Nick over there? You see. This? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I was like, yo, no wonder we ain't seen you was getting um black ties. <laughs> That's where you been. <laughs> Get some melon in your skin. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Baptized but black. <laughs> black ties. Is that black ties? Is that black ties? <laughs> it's a bless him. He, you black and talking like this, right, <laughs> bro? How do, you, how do you turn black into black? <laughs> yo, 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 Matt, what up, B? <laughs> yo, y'all is wild. Yo, what is up with y'all? So, man, we just had the Royal Rumble, man, man. Right, right. Give us your thoughts on the Royal Rumble, Kof, man. Wait, like, like, how'd you feel about it? Because I, I know how I felt about it when I watched it, man. Um, yo, honestly, hold on, let me turn my volume on. I thought the um rumble was fire this year, man. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little different, you know. Um, it wasn't uh predictable. You know what I mean? You you had your and and then all the storylines made sense in the rumble. You had Wait, the winner was back. predictable. The winner was predictable, Cole. Come on, dog. Um, the yeah, winner I mean the winner the winner was predictable. We all knew Cody was gonna win. We all knew Cody was coming out number 30. Either you knew Cody was coming out 30 or number one. Simple mm -hmm. as that. So he could, you know what I'm saying? But I think they did a, a great job at um, hey, showcasing. Hey, hey. showcase you want to hear my theory about that? What's that? You want to hear my theory about why they put Cody at 30? Yeah, come on. I don't think he was healthy. I don't think he was 100%. I don't think so either. And, and, and you protect them by not having them do too much. And you let him test the pack. You let him test the pack because obviously Gunter tested that joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you test it. You test the injury, but you don't let him do too much. Mm. And then because 
like you said, we knew he was going to win. So that's why I think you put him at 30 instead of one. If he was yeah. at one, if you if he was at one, did we know that he was a hundo? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So you could tell you could tell a difference. I, I think um Triple H did a great that time management, at storylines, Brock Lesnar and almost. Um every storyline made sense. Um everybody that got thrown out, it was a storyline to be repeated for the next year, for the next uh Monday night roll or the following Thursday. So um, mm-hmm. but the big storyline of the whole Roy Rumble, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Cody did win. Um, Rhea Ripley won the females Roy Rumble, which was great. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She goes on to battle Charlotte again, which is a reoccurring thing. But it's also good, you know what I'm saying? It shows that uh the, the little puppy, yeah, Nia Jax is back. Definitely Nia Jax showed up, which is mm-hmm. another good thing. I've I've been waiting for her. But the big storyline of the Rumble was uh Sami Zayn. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Matt. <laughs> yeah, Dominic. Yo, you know what? I, I, Say more I, I, about I'm, that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love Dominic, man. You know, I like the whole hardcore Dominic uh, X Con Dom. I see somebody put in the comments. I like yeah. the X Con Dom. You know what I mean? X Con. You know, he was in jail for two days. He's a he's a thuggest <laughs> dude ever. Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think it's dope. You know what I mean? He was in the county. He was in the county, dog. <laughs> he's in county. You know what I'm saying? He was in county for two days. He, and now he's hard. He thugged in the I don't know. I just thought it was a dope storyline. It's funny to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, all right. Like I said, the big the big thing is Sami Zayn turning on Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. Hit him with the and chair. And the bloodline. Hit him with the chair. So that's that's the big thing right now. Where is Roman Reigns going to go? Is Roman going to drop the belt? I, I personally hope Roman doesn't drop the belt to Cody. I would like to see Sami Zayn as the champ before Cody. Really? It would, yeah, because it would make more sense as storyline. Because like mm. people like Sami Zayn right now way more than Cody. You know what I mean? Ah, I see what you're saying. Because because uh, I'm with you. I think Sami Zayn is way mm. over than what Cody is right now. Yeah, he's way more over than Cody. Like I'm not saying that Cody's not an overdue. I'm not saying that you know he's he doesn't he hasn't put in his respect his dues, but I just feel like sometimes you have a diamond right there and you mm-hmm. don't see it. Mm. And I think w, sometimes WWE doesn't pull the plug on what they have right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Like we take a <laughs> like I, I I have no problems with Cody, but Cody came from somewhere else. You gotta respect that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like me coming. That's like me coming to IOW and I'm like I'm starting lineup. Nah. Mel, it's just me and me and Maul. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I can't hey, do that. You, you I do that. Do that. I talk about I got, I got, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I gotta put in my respect. I gotta put it. You know what I'm saying? Um, they won't sell tickets. Sammy was cool. Um, you right? They won't. But they might. You cannot say they won't because people still want to see. People want to see Cody. People want to see. Plus, they've it's already nice. sold the tickets out, so we can't say they they won't sell the tickets out. Because they've already sold WrestleMania out. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But like I said, I would like to see Sami Zayn as a champ. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Did you see the white? What's the white kid name? Um, That always wears the yellow. He boxes. His... No, nah, Logan Paul. Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. Did you see his big? Yeah. His big stunt with Ricochet, which was fire. I think mm-hmm. Logan Paul is a great wrestler, bro. I don't care. Yo, I, great... I said it. I said it on wrestling. another podcast. I said it on a, on a wrestling podcast uh, the other day. I was I was telling people. I said if if Logan Paul decides to actually take it serious, he would actually be a decent wrestler. I think he you would be a great. I'm be honest with you. I think he would be a great Intercontinental Champion. He yeah, that's what on, I was he, thinking. He talks great on the mic. He um he would be a great U.S. Champ because he Yo, has he, the he, people. He he got so he many got Miz he got Miz written all over him. You know what I'm saying? Like he the does. same trajectory, like 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 can possibly you know be a good intercontinental champion. Maybe throw the main title on him like once or twice, but for the most part he'll be solid. And but like you said, his mic skills is dope. And you know what helps uh, WWE having Logan Paul there because everybody knows Logan Paul for all of his social media stuff. Yeah, right. that, that, that puts you definitely. that puts you into a whole nother stratosphere to bring in. Uh, more people to your product, man. Uh, that is I true. Think that should, is true. They should do that. 
they should they should they should pull a plug on it. Go ahead and do it. Uh, plus, Logan Paul has a lot of those guys on they on his podcast, which makes it dope. So, I, mm-hmm. I I feel like what he does right now is pretty dope. You know what I mean? I like Logan Paul. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't. He should stick. stick him and his brother should stay away from boxing. But I like Logan. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> they should definitely stay away from boxing. But hey, his brother's taking it worse. Jake Paul about to do some MMA, man. I'm I'm laughing at that, bro. But you know, I'm still mad that he he fought Edison Silva and and won. Nah, that's that that was that was some fluky stuff. Come on, man. Like, like yeah. don't get me wrong. I know it was boxing, but Anderson Silva is still good enough at striking that he he that he 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 would have bombed on on that Paul dude. Like, come on, like, like yeah, them them boys them boys won't step believable. in the octagon. Them boys won't step in the octagon. Nah, Jake nah, Paul is man. apparently. Oh, is he? Nah, they, yeah. I, I listen. I can't wait to somebody. That pitch, I wasn't supposed to say on camera, was I? Oh, uh, we ain't hear you, so you cut yeah, out a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I was waiting. To, yeah, yeah. You know what? I didn't even watch that match because it was so black. It was so dark. I didn't really understand it. I said the same Not thing about mad at anybody who didn't understand it. Either. I, Cause I didn't understand that uh, the Bray Wyatt match, the Uncle Howdy. I never really understand it. I'm not really too much into the uh, into the horror of WWE and all of that. You know what I'm saying? I just personally like the wrestling. I really don't watch wrestling, believe it or not. Mm. I only watch the pay per views. Okay. If you notice we don't. Yeah, cause we don't we don't talk about wrestling. We don't talk about. I WWE. agree with you, man. Mm-hmm. And AEW, we we more go and we hit the road and we go to the shows, go to independent shows. So lots of times I don't yeah. even watch it. That's the I one thing I, I, I want to hear you talk about because I know like I, I I follow y'all, see stuff y'all doing social media. I see it a lot of like independent stuff, you know. Yeah, and yeah, a lot I'm of little local stuff and stuff like that. Say it again. Hold on, you broke see, up a little bit. Oh, I say I see you like a lot of um, local stuff and independent shows and things like that. How is that compared to like going to like the big stuff like WrestleMania and Royal Rumbles and stuff like that? I'm be honest, like the independent shows to me is a lot. You could touch the guys, you could talk to mm-hmm. them, you could feel them. You know what I'm saying? You could actually like you're you're it's like I don't know like 3D type of thing. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Where, whereas like. With WrestleMania, Monday Night Raw, AEW, I've been to all of these shows. Mm-hmm. It's it's more like you're just a fan. You're in the okay. crowd, right? You know I'm saying you're in the crowd with a lot of people. Um, you chant when other people chant. Whereas in independent world, you can make your own chance. You can like you know, if you don't like the wrestler, you could be like, "Well, fuck you," mm-hmm. and then he can say, "Fuck you back." You're more interactive with the wrestler, right? Like, right, right. And for for us, it works a lot more because like. Um, we are we're always in the independent field. We're always just traveling. Like when we first started mm-hmm. doing wrestling, we was going to independent wrestling 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 matches. So it just made more sense, you know. Um, you could just touch the guys more. You could, and then a lot of those guys go on to do better things. I look at it like, I look at it like we interview the guys from the before NBA they make it big stars before they become stars okay yeah. okay yeah that's basically it we try to get the guys before they become stars because so many of them become stars so fast it's a lot mm-hmm. of guys we've we got yeah it's so many guys that we've we've interviewed no lie they've been on aw or wwe already and like we might have interviewed them years ago two years ago right, a year ago right. you know what i'm saying and they've been on aw already wwe already so we just try to get the independent guys that show them love before they get to the big spot. So, you know, they remember the little guys. That's basically it, man, you know? Right, right. And like I said, it, it's a lot easier for us. Like, if I, if I wanted to go to a little show and it was somebody big, say uh, The Undertaker was at the independent show, I could get an interview mm-hmm. without a problem. I wouldn't mm-hmm. have to go through loopholes and, and do all of this and that and the other. I would just wait right, right. and just ask him could I get an interview and that would be it you know it would it's a lot easier for me okay okay you know I mean that's that's basically it man you know I love traveling though that's it's the big thing man traveling the traveling is the fun thing you know we always get to travel like North Carolina I just went to North Carolina 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Philly. Like, yeah, we go go a lot of places. It takes you a lot of places. You're supposed to be going to Cali in March sometimes, you know, just to do oh, commentary. Shoot. Yeah, I like man. that, man. I like that. That's what we yeah. trying to get up to. Yeah, just, yeah. just travel, man. It's, that's yeah. the big thing, man. That's our big thing yeah. now, travel. Yeah, yeah, because uh, 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 we tried to link up. It just didn't work out because I was working and shit. But, uh, uh, yeah, Kofi was in in, in uh, Carolina a couple weeks. Yeah, I was, was about a couple Carolina. weeks ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to a little show down there, man, by accident. It was crazy. It's like uh, I went to the comic book show. I went to the comic oh. book show, and I was in Bun. I think oh, Bun. yeah, I know what Bun, I know what Bun's at. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like it's like two stores. It's on the other side of, other side of um, Youngsville. Yeah, it's like three stores out there. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. You're in, yeah, you, you're in the a supermarket. Yeah, yeah. Dollar General. <laughs> yeah, so I went to the little comic book store, and they had a flyer up for wrestling. And I was like, well, I guess I'll go tonight. And, and I went. It was like 30 minutes from us, but I went. I wound up going. And I was like, well, fuck it. I met a lot of wrestlers and, and made connections. It's always just good to just go, man. You know, just right, fuck right, it, right. just go. That's me. Like, fuck it, go. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, like, I uh, think I got the I got the gift of gab because I don't pay to go pay to get in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so let me ask you this, Kofi. What what's the biggest biggest name wrestler that you think anybody would know that you and the Good Brother both have interviewed that has later gone on and done uh you know bigger things with some of the bigger companies? Um, I'll be honest, we've smoked with with guys that are big, so I can't even name them. I can tell you off okay. camera. Okay. But like the biggest guy um, right now, um, if you watch AEW, you got Action Andrade. Mm. Um, chill with him, chill with him. Um, Jacob Fatu, Roman Reigns' cousin. I got his number. Oh, yeah. He call, He calls me when he comes to the city. Um, Tommy Dreamer. Oh, so. Actually, I I got to watch a whole uh, the first AEW pay per view with him, interview him. Um, but we fucked that interview up because we didn't know much about how to record on StreamYard and stuff. <laughs> so yeah. we interview we interviewed him, but we never pressed the button record. Oh shoot! <laughs> because we didn't. So we that, but we got to sit with him, drink with him um, mm-hmm. at the AEW event, and and you know just. And chill Tommy with him. Dreamer, for those who don't know, is like an ECW legend. For yeah, those yeah, ECW know. legend, man. You know, we got to soak that up, man. Um, ECW Anderson, man. You know. It's a lot of great guys we interview, man. Like Good Brother could tell you, man. I I really don't. don't I just sit around and smoke to tell you the truth. <laughs> I roll, I roll a, I roll a bud and ask stupid questions. That's my job. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I make sure everything happens ninety percent of the time. But um, we interview a lot of guys, man. Just go, just go to our page, man. Like lots of times we don't look to interview those guys. We want mm-hmm. the smaller guys, the independent guys. We don't want. Anybody who signed already, lots of time, you know what I mean? Because those guys want things that we sometimes we can't give, right? You know what yeah. I mean? Like um, we've tried. I tell you off camera, we've tried to interview big time wrestlers, and they want mm-hmm. this, and they want that, or they want to talk about this yeah. only, right? This and not that. So lots of times yeah. we just we stick with what we know, man. Like we go to these events and we meet these guys. You personally, we personally talk to them and then we personally get to know them. And then we're mm-hmm. like, yo, this dude is cool. Let's invite him to the show. Right. Right. So it's a lot different. That's cool. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's how it was with, um, well, I, I mean, I often wonder, we will try to get like the big people and they want this crazy amount of stuff. Well, you know, we'll come on, we get us this, 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 and that. We're like, bro, we, we trying to get yeah, started. Right. We get all that, you know, that's that's so the like, same thing I like, said, yeah. you know. And like and I realized a lot of people, a lot of people want um in a, in the wrestling world when it comes to a lot mm-hmm. of podcasts, a lot of these podcasts. I can still hear y'all. I'm just walking away for a second. All right. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. But uh, like I said, in the wrestling world, a lot of these podcasts they want only big names and they want to talk just WWE or AEW. Mm-hmm. Whereas right. we try to stay away from that because like we. Those, can't personally touch those guys. You can't interview those guys, and that's mm-hmm. how we look at it. But a lot of other partners, they I, I like I like where we at. 
You know, I don't. Right. Uh, I don't care. If I, <laughs> so, man, trip, I don't man. care if I end up, um, yo, I don't care if I interview independent wrestlers for the rest of my life. I feel. Uh, it's yeah. more about wrestling to us. It's more about yeah, I like that, though, bro. I like that, though. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's it, man. That's why we travel so much, honestly. Well, that's y'all niche. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yo, yeah. we hate we hate podcasting. <laughs> we hate it. That's y'all why we travel. Though, so bro. Y'all good at it, though, bro. I'll tell you what. I be watching y'all show. I be cracking up, bro. Mm-hmm. And you know what? That's just us being ourselves. Like, just us mm-hmm. being me and him just regularly talking conversation. Lots of times it could be a lot worse if I didn't edit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I be with Lamar, man. He be tripping. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm a, hold up. Did y'all peep my name? Y'all, y'all saw my name, right? <laughs> what, what, yeah, what, what, we changed it again. Oh, we saw the Nick. Yeah, I'm Nick. <laughs> he said I'm Nick. <laughs> Nick the day. <laughs> Nick, what's up, me? I'm Nick the day, B. <laughs> but now nah, I always I, hey, you know, hey. I tune into this show. I try to tune into this show every time it's on, man. Cause you know what? I listen to y'all so I can go to work. They be like, Y'all see mm-hmm. that football game, B? I see that game. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I saw I saw just naming football players like I don't, I don't really know, them, man. You know, I like, hey, hey, I seen he ran out four five though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, y'all listen to IOW. That's 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 why I get my sports at. That's why I get my sports. From. This is the only place I get my sports from. Dead ass. I don't listen to nobody else. <laughs> nobody else, especially when it comes to football. If I, yeah, we, I'll be the, I, y'all so proficient in football, like, I listen to y'all just so I can be like, I met a shorty that, that know football, and I was like, you know what, I got, I got to listen more. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I got a shorty that watch football. Hey, that, that man being right, he's like, yo, she like the pick skin, and I'm going to watch it too so I can get them skin. Yeah, man. yeah. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was like, res- I was like, wrestling? She was like, I like football. I was like, you know what, they the same thing, technically. <laughs> you know? They in the same round. They, they in the, the same round. Same round. Yeah. Wrestlers, wrestlers go to wrestlers go to play football. Footballs go to ref, play wrestling. It's all the same thing. It's it's all the same same. Yeah, thing. yeah. Nah, Man, what's up with Matt and uh, Ant going at it in the comments? Hey, you know they talk about who old, who young. They 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 ragging on each other. You know them two. They do it every time. I swear they squabble like brothers. I swear. They do. Uh, let me ask you this, Kofi. Uh, but since you're here, we are going to ask you some sports questions. So you know you're a Knicks fan. We know you're a Knicks fan. How you feeling about your boys right now? How you feeling I, about them? They not looking I, too bad. You want to know the truth? I ain't watched one Knicks game yet. You ain't watched one. What? There's no way I believe that. Nah, I ain't watch one. I watch no, highlights. What? Yeah. Um. It's the Knicks, man. <laughs> it's the Knicks. Like, like, what do you want me to like? I mean, let's be honest, yo, man. Yeah. No, yeah. what do y'all want me to say? It's the Knick, like. Hey man, at least hey, I could at least you honest, bro. You ain't like a Cowboys fan. They be on this mud. I'm just high. saying, y'all, 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 y'all <laughs> like, the seven C. I'm just saying, y'all the seven C. Y'all, y'all not, right, y'all not right. in the seven, gutter though. All right, look, look, look. Take it. Seven C. What you face the what? Two seed or the you face the one seed or? No, no, no. Like you, you be nah. You you be in the uh, playing. All right, team. what what? All right, let's be honest. What team can they beat in a seven game series? In the East. Y'all couldn't get Miami or Cleveland? It's, no, no. Not the way Cleveland plays. Yo, 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 I'll be honest. They can't beat Cleveland, bro. But Donovan Mitchell scores. Donovan Mitchell scores fucking 75 points by accident. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga didn't even know he did it. <laughs> You trying to tell me <laughs> the Knicks the what? <laughs> what? The Bulls they can't beat the Chicago Bulls. They can't beat a good DeMar DeRozan. 
They can't be the great. No, no, no. Come on. Game. Y'all could beat the Chicago Bulls. First of all, the Bulls are ranked 11th, so they, they wouldn't even be in a playing tournament. They'd be sitting at home anyway. So we ain't even got to worry about the Bulls. All it don't I'm matter, saying is, son. Come on. It don't matter who they could be, son. They have Thanos. Like, Thanos is on the East. His name is fucking Giannis under the Kupo. <laughs> Thanos. Thanos. <laughs> I call that nigga. You ever seen that nigga dunk on somebody? He'd be like, this is your team? Is this who brought with you? <laughs> I'm bro. He's fucking Thanos. I don't care who wins or loses. He would dunk on your whole squad. This is who you brought with you. I eat this. <laughs> this nigga is nice. He's a mythical creature. This nigga is different. <laughs> Nobody beats him. I don't care with no. I don't know who you got on the East. Listen, Milwaukee all the way. I'm not even a Milwaukee fan. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody touching them, bro, on the East. Like, nobody. Damn, yeah, I'm not even Boston. Yeah, I mean, Boston, Boston. Boston. Boston playing, man. But you got Thanos, man. Brooklyn? Dan, you got Thanos. <laughs> Thanos, well, well, bro. Like, well, we got. Like, let's be we honest. Gotta, we we got to see if KD comes back. KD, well, he'll KD, more than likely KD, will. KD, it's over for him. Okay, it's over. He will come back already on some light work shit. He will come back. Don't want to get hurt. Don't want to get touched. Kyrie Irving already. I don't know. Confusing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's over. Like, don't don't count no Nick. Don't New York Nick. Um, New York teams in to win nothing. If they win something, yeah. I cash app y'all a hundred dollars. <laughs> if they win the championship, I swear to God, I, this is recorded. I will cash <laughs> app y'all each a hundred dollars if the Knicks or Brooklyn Nets win the championship this year. Come on, Nets! Come, come on, bro. come on! Bro, you got your chance for Nets. Knicks, I don't know. <laughs> the Knicks, I don't know, bro. It's not happening, man. They suck. You know what? But here's the thing, man. And, I mean, you probably can speak to it better than I can because you know you're a Knicks fan. But the thing about the Knicks, man, like they have a team, and you go back to the Ewing days, you'd be like, oh man, they, they look dominant. And then they get into the playoffs, they just like disappear. You know, just disappoint and let you down. That's because they never had they never had that Magic Johnson, that Charles Barkley, that Jordan, they have had that one play. Yeah, we had a Patrick Ewing, but you can't base everything on the center. Yeah. Like even 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 the Rockets didn't base everything on the Kim Olajuwon. That's true. They had they had motherfucking Clyde Drexler, they had motherfucking Harper, they had all these other players. The Knicks don't surround their good players with good players. Mm -hmm. They don't. Let's be honest. Within the last ten, yeah, I'm gonna tell you where they fucked up. Draft for Carmelo. Mm. I don't care what nobody say. Because we had a great team with just Amari Stoudemire. Niggas was 10 and 0. Mm -hmm. Niggas don't even remember that. We was 10 and 0 with just Amari Stoudemire. And we didn't even have Jeremy Lin at that time. Right. They were that Jeremy Lin wasn't even known. And then at the end of the year, we got Jeremy. Jeremy Lin was still on that bench and picked up. Mm -hmm. So because of Carmelo, Jeremy Lin left because of Melo. Right. Stoudemire left because of Melo. And look what happened. Mm. This is just my opinions, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what management want to do, but I feel like you should. I feel like they should fight the whole team, get rid of the New York Knicks itself. Yeah, but here's the thing, Coke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being so serious. I mean, I, I, feel, I feel you on that, but it's get like rid the, of the Knicks. If you look at you look at New York and you look at California, those are two iconic cities. You know, you know. People want to go and play there. Both of them is a big market team. Both of them, you know, uh -huh. film stars, all that stuff. You know, you got all the, the glitz and the glamour in both cities. But uh -huh. it's a tell of, it's a tell of two different places. The Knicks don't get good players to come there. Well, let me, let me take that back. They don't get a good team. They get one or two good players. And like you said, don't put teams around or where the, the lake is. Yeah, but, but, but they're not getting the KDs. They're not getting the Kyries. Yeah. They're but, not but, getting the all right, wow. You gotta understand. You gotta understand uh -huh. that one team is used to winning and has a legacy at winning and winning mm -hmm. every fucking thing and making it happen some way somehow. And one right. team 
has a legacy of dropping a ball. Yeah, That's I understand. It. That. That. I understand that. It's but legacy. It's legacy. I, I it's understand legacy. what you're saying, but my thing is like you would look at you look at other New York teams, the Yankees, uh, the Rangers, even the Islanders. You know what I'm saying? They won. You go back a, to management. A, a, you go back to management. You go back to how bad do you mm-hmm. want to win, or how much money do you want? Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can account for this. I used to work at the Garden, so I know what it okay. is and what it's not. Mm-hmm. Okay. They don't give a fuck if the Knicks win. Garden gonna make money regardless of the situation. Mm. Mm. Regardless of, of if the Knicks ever played at the Garden again. Guess what? The guard are gonna still make that same amount of fucking money. Mm, it yeah. don't matter. It don't matter if, who the number one draft pick is. It don't matter who this person is. It don't matter. Them seats is still gonna sell out, right? Mm-hmm. You still gonna buy a ticket to go see the Knicks, right? It don't matter if right. we lose every it don't matter if the Knicks went 0 72 this year. I bet you every seat is still sold out. Yeah, because it's the garden. Exactly. It's a name. Mm-hmm. It, it's that's all it is. It's the iconic. Hey, the is is is, is, the, is the iconic is, see behind it or the the right 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 right. Yeah, but, I, but I because you, because no no because you, you speak on it because it happens all the time. Because I remember uh-huh. all the times that Kobe would go to the garden and drop fifty five. Jordan would go to the garden and drop sixty. Mm-hmm. Uh, LeBron right. goes down to the garden and gets a triple double. Um, I mean he just did it uh the other day. Uh, matter of fact. LeBron did it uh, not too long ago, within the last uh, week or so. He went down right. to the garden and dropped a triple double. Like the seats are going to sell out because it's always opposing players who bring that that mystique exactly. and magic with them. And 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 like the garden is like the stage. It's like the Apollo of basketball. You want to go in there and and show your talent to the purest of forms on that platform because the garden has that certain mystique that brings with it. And so when right. you perform on a on a crazy level at the garden, that helps solidify that you one of them bad motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Not like, even that. that when like, you bust when you bust when you bust New York Knicks ass or you bust New York ass itself, you gotta think New York is New York. So mm-hmm. we have this ego, this chip on our shoulder. You ain't busting our ass. So when you come and bust somebody basketball. <laughs> yeah. You got to think, New York is, it's like, you got New York, you got Chicago, you got Seattle. These are iconic spots that, Mm. you know, people play ball in. These are places that, you know, is known for people to be the greatest basketball players or grow up the greatest basketball players. So when you bust one of their asses, it's different. When you come to New York Mm -hmm. and you be able Yeah. (laughs) No doubt. Yep. The Mecca. I want to come in. The Mecca of basketball. It's the mecca. It's the mecca of basketball, but at the same time, motherfuckers ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to even put it. I don't even know how to put it. Like my man, my man Kobe is not fucking with the Knicks, dog. He's nah. like, yeah, they ain't shit. They don't get it there. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it on honey. You know what it is? It's like, it's like. It's like they always let you down. Yeah, I got to understand that. I got to understand Yo, that. Bro. I, all right, you know what it was? Yo, I was a like I was the hugest Knicks fan. When I mean at mm-hmm. the top of my Knicks fan element, it was mm-hmm. Jeremy Lin ever. I was like, "Yo, we got this Chinese kid." Yo, I was right. so hyped. I went and bought me a fucking <laughs> Jeremy Lin jersey, a Jeremy Lin <laughs> shirt, fucking everything, Jeremy Lin. <laughs> fucking thing Lin sanity. <laughs> Lin Sanity, you know what they fucking do? They trade him. Fucking trade him. Pisses me off. So after that, I was just like, whatever with the Knicks, man. You know, right. I think right. the Knicks, everybody that I ever played with the Knicks is like D-rated. Like if you were like, if you like go to the NBA 2K ratings, mm-hmm. um, I mean everybody that played with the Knicks is probably like 50 to 60 percent. You know, it's no no higher than 70. Nobody's over 70. Everybody straight drop trash. <laughs> That's it. Straight drop trash. Well, right. right. damn. I have no faith in the Knicks ever. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I stopped watching basketball, man. I don't even watch basketball no more, man. I I bet on the games though. Oh I yeah. Do. I'll bet. I'll yeah. bet on the game like over under. 
or some shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But I'll bet against the Knicks. I, like the other day, I was mm-hmm. going to bet on the Knicks. You know these motherfuckers was up 10 in the fourth quarter. They fuck No, they was up 17. I said over. 125. You know what I'm saying? 125. They go over 125. I was like, over. The game mm-hmm. went over 125, but the Knicks still fucking lost. And they was up 17. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, you hurt by these joints, though. Hey. <laughs> These dudes are hurting your, are hurting your heart, bro. They're hurting your feelings. I see why you're so angry with them right now, bro. Just saying, man. Like you can't, like you can't. The first, the dopest thing about the Knicks is they hats and they jerseys, man. I hate their jerseys. Giants won in, won it in jersey. I don't watch Knicks. I don't watch football, bro. So you talk some long oh, guy. Yankee, Yankees. They, if they won, they won. I don't know. I see if I see once I see some Spanish people running around with the Yankees hats on, then I know they won. <laughs> I know Yankees must have won. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, Papa. Hey, yo. Yankees won. The Yankees. I'm like, oh, all right, all right. Yankees in the Bronx. You know, they don't even play that. Yankees come out to drill music now. That's how real it is in the Bronx. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't fuck with the Yankees. I'm not going to Yankee Stadium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yankee Stadium got mad crackheads too. I just want to be honest to all y'all tourists. I think y'all going to Yankee Stadium and see something nice. Y'all are not. Okay. I mean the outside. The, I mean the outside look nice. The new one. Oh no. No, it, I don't know how y'all see the outside. Y'all, y'all know it's surroundings around it. It's nothing but projects around that motherfucker. Yeah, I drove, right? I drove past there a couple years ago. I was Did in you the see Bronx. Oh, ain't nobody stop you like, ain't nobody stop you like, you got a dollar? You got a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> we was, uh, was in the Bronx. Three, nah, three nah, four nah, years nah. ago, I was walking through the Bronx, bro. Hold on, hold on. I was walking you was walking? Bronx. Who walks through yeah. the Bronx? Nobody. Yeah. I was walking through the Bronx a couple years ago, and um, I went to the Spanish, the Spanish people's barbecuing, bro. I wanted to go over there so bad and get some food. Hell it, yeah, it was that shit was good, a party. bro. Yo, listen, that listen. Was Anytime good. you see some Spanish people cooking anything in the Bronx, you know that shit authentic. She don't talk no English either. She hey, man. It had the music going. You would have you'd been like, no, it mommy, had- I, I Like, Spanish Spanish people be like, you'd be like, yo, mommy, can I get the chicken? Like, you want that? You want that? You want that? <laughs> You went to, I'm like, I ain't asked for none of that shit, but go ahead and put it on the plate. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. They be like, $10. Bruh. I'm like, mommy, all of that for $10? Give me the iced tea. Give me the iced tea. No, they're like, there's like, a, it's like a little park. It's like a little park. So I forgot. I think it's 256 somewhere. In, um, and we was like, oh, they got Matter of fact, I was trying to, I was uh-huh. walking to the George Washington Bridge. That's what it was. I was watching the George Washington Bridge. Yo, you see what Anthony said to you, dog? (laughs) (laughs) They say he from Chicago, he ain't scared of nothing. I don't know if Chicago crackhead is like the New York crackhead, bro. I don't know. He know you from Detroit, fool. He's just talking shit to you. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Hold on. I forgot. Fuck Anthony. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <He's still there. laughs> nah, man. Hey, Kof, man. We appreciate you hopping on like literally last No problem, you, man. man. I, hey. I love y'all guys, man. One of the yeah, best man. shows out here, man. One of the best fucking shows out here, man. Everybody make sure you hit that like button. Tune Fuck and man, it's what it is, man. I always, man. Appreciate the love, man. And as appreciate always, you, hey, Kofi, you already Nick, man. Nick, let them let them know where they can find <laughs> you, at, big dog. <laughs> Nick, I'm Nick today. All right, man. Y'all can find us on uh, YouTube, Dirty Hills Podcast, man. IG, Dirty Hills underscore one three two, or just uh, hashtag Dirty Hills, or um, just Google Dirty Hills. We are official, man. We on everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't got time. And get their tees from Pro Wrestling Tees. Get the merch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get, the t- get the merch. Get that merch, man. You know, I got I got the Beavis and Butthead coming soon. I got a lot of shit coming soon. I got some Seth Rollins and shit coming soon, man. Y'all, I go get that merch, man. You got a lot of stuff coming soon, man.
always always appreciate it man but hey that's the deal as always episode in the books i'm the wildcat mar that's the big homie detroit mail you see it scrolling on the bottom screen all the social media handles make sure you like share subscribe hit that smash buttons smash the subscription button smash that that bell notification buttons on the youtube channel at iow sports network same handle for the instagram and the facebook and iow sports one on the twitter hey we about you come kick it with us again thursday 4 p.m he's just standing time for episode 220 peace love y'all hey Woo! oh